Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. All right, so in this video, we are going over the first section of footage that I recorded from making parts for Joe Bernard over at BPS Space. This is going to be kind of a technical video, so there's going to be a lot of machine-related topics discussed in this video. I'm going to come out with a more concise video with uh, more more cool machining footage, more slow-mo, that kind of stuff. I'm a little bit later, less long. This video is very long, and it's also just part one. Um, there was a lot of footage, and I've never recorded this much footage, and I also had footage from a GoPro, as you can see on the screen. Um, so it's it's a challenge for me to put all the, the video, all the footage together, basically, because uh, I'm a novice at video editing, if you will. So if you're into machining, CNC machining, this is going to be a good video for you. Part two is also going to be a good video for you. Um, and I'm also, like I said, that concise video is going to come out hopefully by um, sometime next week, and that'll include footage um, also from BPS Space. And I'll kind of go over more of the actual interaction and how I, you know, picked up doing these parts. And uh, yeah, just kind of over that little story. But uh, yeah, thanks for uh, checking it out. And if you like this kind of footage, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, subscribe. You uh, you know what to do. Hey, good morning, guys. It's day two for this uh, BPS space part. All right, uh, let's get right into it. I don't have much time. But we need to cut the stock, which uh, we'll do right now, and then. I need to go over the programming, and then there's one more thing I gotta step on the fourth axis, and then we gotta change the vice jaws and stuff, and blah blah blah. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so here is a piece of the material we're gonna be using. It's one by two, 60, 61 bar, and we're gonna cut it into five inch, close to five inch lengths, and that'll be our stock, and uh, yeah. That might be kind of overkill, so we'll kind of see how the, the chatter factor is, but yeah, let's get to cutting. I need a tape measure, a precision instrument. Come over here to my favorite bandsaw, the one that I dropped, or Harbor Freight dropped. Okay guys, I'm about to try the uh, first part for this uh, guide vane. So here's our setup. We got the GoPro for that sweet, sweet in-house footage. Uh, our XYZ is this corner in the middle of this block, five inch block. The vane's gonna be cut this in this forward part. That way we have room for the tool. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> what I need to do is we're gonna uh, indicate this vice and set this zero. Um, so we'll set that to zero. That way it's uh, tilt tilted properly. You just do that in the offset page, and then uh, yeah, we'll give it a uh, shot. All right, boys. Here's what we're gonna do. I have our first tool, big big boy stick out right here, and uh, also stick out on the tool. So I'm curious to see how the actual chatter goes. Shatter, so I switched it up, changed tools. We're going to a 3 8 and uh, shorter, shorter length. So we'll see how that runs.
Oh yeah, first broken tool. Snapped it right off the shank, but yeah, kind of strange. I thought I chip welded in the hole and then uh, it just fractured. So yeah, eh, it's fine though, we'll just rerun it. Um, let's see, the end mill got stuck in the other tool holder and absolutely nuked the tool holder. Like, I can't get the end mill out and uh, yeah, some other problems occurred. So I had to go with the uh, backup tool holder, a cheapo, but I got another uh, tool holder on order. So let's uh, try this again. I changed the tool path up a little bit so it doesn't have to do a, a, a helix into the part. It should be able to go on the outside. There's a small helix at the end, but let's try not to blow this one up. Here's the adaptive and the steep and shallow done. So not too bad. I did get quite a bit of chatter though, as you can tell along the edges. So that's something we're gonna have to work on. See what I can do about that. But uh, yeah, other than that, no crashes this time. All right, we got the first knob done. That's what it looks like. But now it's flipped over in the vise, and I'm gonna face it off and then do a uh, pretty much a full run prototype. So uh, yeah. Let's uh, get this flat and then we'll uh, deck it off.
What's up guys, it's day three on these uh, BPS space parts. I'm working on these after work, so yeah, it kind of takes me a while to do these. Um, so we got the first side done pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy about that, even despite the chatter you see on the GoPro. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna mill the backside uh, op in these, but well, we're gonna mill the negative of this in some soft jaws. Like, in the soft jaws that I cut last night. So yeah, we'll cut those next and uh, move on to the next stop as long as the soft jaws are good. So, I'm about ready to cut these soft jaws. I just wanted to show you guys. So, I have it modeled in fusion like this. There's a uh, 150 thou gap right here. And from this face to this face, it's 160, so we're going to have to measure that. I used a uh, gauge block to separate them, but in the future, I'd much rather use like a uh, 123 block or something. But I needed the small, small distance. Pretty close. I don't know if you guys can see. Through. It's 160, and the lowest I can get is 1.601. Uh, 1 so within, within one or two, which is uh, pretty good for soft jaws and set up like that, because the uh, soft jaws could be milled a little oversized. Sweet! So I'm going to uh, zero this in, and we'll start. Alright, I like what we got so far. So I need to come out with a ball end mill and do, so we're going to do a parallel right along there and then I always forget to do a contour or a chamfer with the chamfer mill. So we'll do that to clean the edges up. That way there's no hard edges for the piece to hit. Yeah. Sweet. Guess we'll try it out. On our way. Hmm. Damn. Let me go cut that off in the bandsaw. All right, that's been cut and sanded down. M maximum effort. See how flat it is. It's a bit of rise to it. Okay, so I ended up recutting a different style profile into it to see if we could fix it.
Nice, very nice. So I should be able to adjust it slightly. Yeah, it's not too bad. It kind of just kind of breeze. Higher on this side, lower on this side, uh, just a little bit. So there must be a burr or something. So I'm gonna kind of see if we can clean it up and see if we can get rid of that uh, travel. Could also be on the model. solid. I should chamber those edges. Yeah, that'll make it a really good looking part. Alright, here we go. First full done prototype. Very nice. So, it came out really nice except a couple things. One, this one doesn't have the drill hole that goes there. So, that'll be on the next one. And then, my... Uh, I think it was parallel operation on the... Ramp here. Did not come out how I want. Focus. No, I'm not focusing. Kind of hard to see it, I guess. But uh, it, it kind of went up and down as opposed to side to side, which is uh, 
I think that's what contour is for, so we'll have to do that next time. But other than that, it's uh, pretty nice.